guys I have a question from moment to solve the question is asking determine the moment of the force about point O and this is the diagram I'm gonna draw the free dive, free body diagram right here it's gonna be like this right straight line and uh, 45 degree angle and then we have the force right here it's acting 3 300 Newton 30 degree 30 degree and we have vertical and horizontal components the first thing we have to do is we have to find the vertical and horizontal components of the angle of the force angle and their distance so this is 45 degree and we have to find the vertical component of this distance and the horizontal component of this distance I start with the force let's say this is F1 this is F2 so F1 is going to be my vertical component therefore F1 is going to be equal to 300 times sine 30 sine 30 is half therefore it's going to be 150 Newton and F2 I have to find I have to use uh, this is horizontal component therefore I have to use cosine 30 uh, 300 times cosine 30 which comes out to be 259.8 8 Newton then I have to find the this distance this is given right here it's 0 0.3 meter this height is 0 0.3 therefore therefore the vertical distance is going to be let's say uh, I, I put vertical as D1 and horizontal D2 so vertical is going to be 0 0.3 sine sine 45 this uh, this angle is 45 therefore it's going to be 0 0.3 sine 45 45 and this is going to be uh, horizontal component is, component is going to be 0 0.3 cos 45 so bo both will give the same uh, answer because sine 45 and cos 45 are same therefore it's going to be 0 0.212 this also going to be 0 0.212 then they have given the distance right here this is 0 0.4 meter now I can find the total moment so sigma mo is going to be first of all I take the vertical component of this one so I have found the force is 150 Newton and the distance so whatever the thing you are taking you have to find the perpendicular distance for that whatever the force you are taking you have to find the perpendicular distance so it, since we have 0 0.4 right here this is horizontal and I have found this distance where the vertical component of this distance is going to be 0 point cos 45 so 0 0.212 I have found that already I have to add them together to find complete complete uh, horizontal distance is going to be 0 0.4 plus 0 0.212 is going to be 0 0.612 right this is my complete vertical distance uh, ho complete horizontal distance so we have found the vertical force right here is 150 I had to multiply 150 by 0 0.612 and uh, we have to make sure whether it is clockwise or counterclockwise since if you imagine this uh, this uh, force is pulling this object upward it means it's going to the counterclockwise if you see this will turn this side around right therefore this is counterclockwise therefore it's positive and the next one I'm gonna take the horizontal force horizontal force if you imagine it's pulling this object this side therefore it's clockwise therefore this force is negative negative and we have found the F2 already is 259.8 Newton 59.8 Newton and the vertical distance for this one is this only this height because this is a vertical this couldn't be count because it's exact same direction this is the perpendicular distance for this one therefore it's 0 0.3 sine 45 I have found the vertical distance already 0 0.1212 I have to multiply this one by that 
0 0.212 I don't have to write this Newton right here I can trace this so if I calculate this one this will become 91.8 minus 55.077 so the final answer comes out to be 36.72 Newton meter since this uh, since the answer is positive therefore we know this is going toward uh, clock counterclockwise so this is my final answer this is the Sigma MO I hope you guys like this video see you next time